Christmas has begun. I dropped my chewing gum wrapper. Judith dropped a wrapper. Hello and welcome to another Skit Twins podcast. Can you tell we're eating gum? I hope you can, but I'm, I mean, I will spit it out eventually if I think like you're really obvious yeah. about it. And think I'm, what you think we're obvious about it. You can spit it in that and then pick it up again later. Sorry. Is that a weird thing to do? I literally just put it in my mouth so it's still all like crunchy. That's a bit gross. Anyway, it's the 2nd of December, which means it's, it's sort of Christmas, isn't it? How many days is it? 18 days till Christmas Eve? 23? No, 20. Why did I get 18? 20? Right, 20. 22 days till Christmas Eve then. Yeah. Because that's when the, that's when Christmas really starts. Yeah. It's kind of a wee bit sad for us at the minute though, because our, our old friend, our doggy friend, 15 years old, Bosco, the Shetland sheep dog, the lassie dog, the hero. Our buddy. He had to be put down last night. One minute in and this is really depressing. I just thought I'd let people know. Yeah, it sucks. But he was old and the doctor found like a big massive tumour after he'd been put down and sort of said, well, it's better now than him suffering. So, But he, he also said that he wasn't in any pain anyway, but that eventually... He would he be. He would be. And and that would it would come all at once, like the pain. Yeah. And he was he he was losing weight and he was just he was just skin and bone really. Yeah. And I was feeding him extra and I was like, the cats must be eating his food because he's he's, he's so scrawny, scrawny yeah. looking. So well, he wasn't can't... really scrawny because like he had he has fur, but like you could see that he coat. was. Yeah. If you went to pet him like on the head or on the back, you could just feel his spine. It was sort of like. Um, but yeah, he's a good pupper. He will always be a good pupper. Uh huh. We were going to spoil Sue today and bath her, but it's Chucking pouring it down with rain. To <laughs> rain. Well, well, we could make we it could... easier to wash her. I was going to say we could bring her up to the shower. We'll ask the parents about that after. Um, but yeah, that sucks. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> we haven't put our tree up yet. Yeah, we've just been kind of super busy. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram, Snapchat and stuff, and they all put their trees up this weekend, and I was kind of like, hmm. I still think it's a bit early. <laughs> we could have got the Christmas stuff down. We still could get the Christmas. We got stuff the down. Christmas stuff down in like the last week in November last year. Did we? Yeah, we we're super keen. Um, I don't know this year. I just, I just genuinely can't be bothered with Christmas. Like I want it to happen, but I just can't be bothered to go get the stuff and put the tree up. And I think it's just I'm thinking about this week and we're in London and yeah, we're just so busy and it's going to be exhausting. And then mum's away at the end of the week, which means we have to do everything ourselves and like walk up the road in the rain and stuff, and that just fills me with sadness. Yeah. And then last week I was just exhausted all week too, which sucked. And then we went to Donegal and I slept for like ten hours. It was so good. Yeah. Well, like on and off. Last night I didn't sleep at all because Bosco didn't bark. That's really sad. And I thought he would bark, and I sort of woke up, and the dogs up the road were barking. I was like, oh, Bosco will start now. And then I was like, oh, wait. Oh. Mate, we had moved on. <laughs> oh, we were... Anyway, we have London on. tomorrow, and <coughs> um, again, for the acting course, and we have to have Shakespeare monologues learned. And honestly, my life has just been, like, mental with, like, triathlon and karate and It has been dog. so busy. Like... I, I I keep thinking about it and I'm kind of like, oh, sure I haven't done that much, but like, like we've it's trained, taken up more time. We've like, trained every single day. And since we were out the every last single, London, and we were pretty much out every single evening with choir, choir and, and karate and swimming, church meetings. And, like we honestly have not had any time really. And it's sort of the more I think about it, the more I'm like, flip when would I have learned it? <laughs> Yeah, we, we sort of had a go at it last night. Um, Just putting on different accents to try and sort of... Because apparently that helps you learn it. I didn't know that that was a thing, but I agree that it is a thing now, if that yeah. makes sense. I can, I can confidently read it, yeah. but I still have to read it. Like, I, I don't trip over the words at all, really. I was listening to a podcast of it this morning, and I can't say... You know the way if you know... You, know, you can know something... And you can say it, like, it's like learning a song, and you know the you can, lyrics when... You can when... say it along with it, but yeah. you can't say it on your own. Yeah, I can't even do that yet with the podcast version of it, so... <laughs> Shakespeare was fun. a good guy, though. Um, I kind of feel bad for not having it learned, but also literally couldn't have done anything about it, apart from, like, you know... Give up sleep. Get, yeah. And, like, to be honest, the past couple of weeks I've got maybe, like, six hours-ish of sleep anyway. Yeah. It's not been great. Um... 
but you like know, you you even noticed how like how awful I look. You'd be bags under your blind. eyes. <laughs> so did you? To be fair, you're getting new glasses. That's news. Yeah. So are you? Hopefully soon. Eventually. At some point. I don't even know. I might. I could. No. I was gonna say I could give mum my prescription and send her in, but I'd have to pick frames. Yeah. So you keep pressing the charger thingy, and it keeps lighting up the screen. So I'm really super aware. Of what percent is that? Talking. What percent is it? Is I can't see. It doesn't show that. It just all I can see is the time. Okay. Well, I, well, I started at like thirty-eight, so that's why I have the charger thing plugged oh, in. Fair days. I said we could sit on the floor, and you could plug it into a proper charger. I know, but I find it nicer to sit up here because I can't sit on the floor for very long without getting cramp and then like having My to shift around. My back really hurts today. It hurt last night, but this morning it's just so much worse. Um, that's just me being whingy. Sorry, guys. <laughs> We have a childhood story for for you today. Do we? Oh yeah. yes, yes. Um, it's not necessarily funny. It's something that mum, because we were chatting about there was a Sunday school party yesterday. To just try not to yawn here beside me, and she's pulling a really weird face. <laughs> I didn't think you would notice. <laughs> you had like you sucked your lips inside your face. <laughs> Maybe I was just smiling with no lips. <laughs> that looks really creepy. <laughs> um, but yeah, we were. It was like a Sunday school party, Christmas party yesterday, which I think is really early. But yeah. also, it's just the way the dates fall this year. But also, like fair dues, like because closer to Christmas, people will be busier and parents will be out shopping. talking to Santa in the shops. I mean, yeah, but they could, like, it, it, surely it would have been better to plan it later on and then have it for like a good two hours or whatever, and, and then, then parents could go out. Parents and shop. could go and get the shop. Yeah. But anyway, um, we were chatting about that and how some of the parents were a wee bit like blasé about their kids throwing rice and glitter onto the floor. Which we, which we never would have been allowed to do. I think that was me. Oh, I was like, <laughs> who is coming? Um, like, we sort of would have been like, if we spilt something or whatever, it would have been like, go get that cloth. Yeah, go wipe that up. Pick that up now or whatever. Especially with food. Just pick that up and need it. Yeah. Just dust it off. It'll be all right. I'm we didn't like have that. a five second rule in our house. We, we just... had a doesn't have anything else on it. Pick a couple of hairs off, and you're grand. Yeah. Do you think it's boosted our immune systems? I agree. <laughs> but anyway, we were talking. That sort of got us on to mum. What was the worst thing we did as kids? And uh, she, she, mummy told us about the time that I found a Stanley knife. Um, I didn't realise it was called a Stanley. knife. I thought knife. it was an Exacto knife, or is that a different thing? I think it's. I don't know. It might be. Different thing, maybe the same thing. It was a stamina at some stage anyway. Um, but yeah, I found one of those one morning whenever I was maybe like six, I would say. And I was like, Oh, this is like a pen. How do you but know it was cuts... morning? Because no one else was up. Oh, okay. And it was in the sitting room. Okay, fair news. I remember that. Um and there was a bean bag with a leather like cover and uh a cushion and a video case and I started on the video case and I was like oh you can make lines can you draw pictures with it like and in my six-year-old I wasn't cutting it I was drawing yeah um so when I kept on doing this and then I was like oh, well that's the case all drawn on what do I do now <laughs> and then I found the cushion and then I found the bean bag and I cut the bean bag too deep and all the be like the wee polyester polystyrene balls I thought it survived for a while after that now I think maybe it did. I think mum maybe sewed it up, but it just sort of never really. It was never the same. It's never the same. Yeah. Was that like the leather pleather square one? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. If it, I don't think it was real leather. No. Yeah. That was a nice wee bean bag. Disappointing. But I mean, the one thing that mum we did say was, I didn't cut myself with it. Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't go for your hands. You went for other Objects. stuff. <laughs> yeah. But also, mum said that it wasn't really my fault because, it was. Colin or Sinclair or Daddy that left the knife out in the first place. So it's like, yeah, little old me not, didn't get blamed. Not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't remember that. I remember the the video case being cut, like just just being sort of shredded, and I remember the bean bag being cut. But I don't I don't remember the cushion. The cushion's not too bad. It still it still lives on. Is it the one that has like just wee lines across yeah. it? Maybe it wasn't properly. Yeah, stabbed. it wasn't properly stabbed. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. We shall persevere. Go on and sneeze. Why do you do this? It really annoys it's me. It's Matt Edmondson that gave me the idea. I, I like sneezing. I like the build up to a sneeze, but I don't like the sneeze itself. Why? 
just because I can't sneeze quietly and it's always really loud. Mummy and Daddy sneezed earlier, like at different times, not at the same time, but they, they both made me jump. <laughs> it's kind of... <sighs> you know what's difficult about Christmas? What? Like, whenever people ask you, what do you want for Christmas? Because I never know. <gasps> I have no idea. And I had to make it, we had to make secret Santa lists and just, I was like... What do I want? Chloe, what are you putting on yours? <laughs> yeah. Like, like you want something fun that's like Christmassy. Like, yes, okay, right, I need practical things like more gym clothes and stuff. But at the same time, I want like a game or like a cuddly toy or something that I can like play with. Um, yeah, no, same. I got like, I put a board game on my list and what else? I don't even know. Books. But I don't uh, even want books, I want a Kindle, but I can't ask for a Kindle because that's too expensive. Yeah. It has to be £30 or less. And then whenever someone else, like, whenever you ask what someone else wants for Christmas, they're like, oh, just, just wee things. And it's like, please like, be more specific. What? I'm so rubbish at buying Christmas presents. I swear I used to be better at buying Christmas presents. I used to, like, go in the shops and be like, oh, that would be so great for such and such person. And yeah. No, I, I just. I'm not very good. I also can't be bothered. <laughs> so bad at Christmas. Day That's here. why online shopping is a thing. Also, cards. I have to write Christmas cards and stuff. Yeah, too. I've 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 asked people to remind me to number one get cards. I have to get cards on Wednesday, and then write them at some point. You know what I found earlier whenever I was tidying my desk? What Christmas cards? Postcards from Edinburgh that we didn't send. Yeah, we've got about ten of them that we were going to send to friends and never did. It's okay, we can put them in the Christmas cards. Yeah. <coughs> postcards are really weird though Why? like anyone can read them or like, well, yeah, like the postman, enough, can, the read postman can read them don't write a love letter on a postcard or about your medical symptoms my voice has gone really funny and I tried clearing my throat to fix it and it didn't work do you think postmen ever keep postcards but like just like scribble out the back or whatever or like cover just, just to stick it up yeah just to have the photo is that not that I'm pretty that's got to be illegal. I mean, it's only legal if they get caught. Still illegal, though. Do you think postmen ever look at postcards and be like, that's a really pretty picture, and just take a picture of the front of the postcard? Maybe. And then... Do you think there's, like, a postman WhatsApp group? And what? Like, <laughs> like, as in... <laughs> they send pictures and stuff. You'll never guess what <laughs> what James and 429 Oak Grove Street <laughs> sent. <laughs> no. Um, I think it would be cool if they did. We'd never know. Unless a postman gets in touch. If you're a postman and you have a WhatsApp group. <laughs> or a postwoman. You know, we're not. Um, whatever the word is. Sexist? That. We are. I have to say the word bosom in my Shakespeare monologue. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this podcast is really all over the place today. <laughs> <laughs> it just... <laughs> you said the word sex. <laughs> I was like, a <laughs> bosom. I said sexist, I didn't just say sex. <laughs> I knew. I'm not even joking though, autocorrect always changes sec, sec, like, as in like a second to yeah. sex, and I am affronted every single time. <laughs> I sent it to my mum once, and my mum was like in the other room, and she was like, What? <laughs> Mummy, I meant second to sec. <clears throat> I like autocorrect. Also, things and thongs, that happens quite frequently too. That's only happened to me once. Yeah. Oh my word. <laughs> Podcasting makes me so tired. I don't think we have a podcast yet. That was you not yawning. No, we need to find somewhere better to stand, okay? Because I think standing here makes me tired because it's beside it's nice your to bed. bed. <laughs> well, so your mind's automatically like, bed, yeah. sleep. But yeah. you have your back towards the bed. I can still see oh, you the can other see bed. Oh, you can see the spare bed, bed right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, we just said that at the same we time. We did. That's a twin thing. It's not really a twin thing. People do that all the time, but people always make a bigger fuss of it because we're twins and we did. Yeah, it's like you spoke at the same time. It's like, uh... Pretty sure you guys did that about five minutes ago. We didn't say anything about that. I don't know if you could hear that, but that's a tractor. We tractor. Thanks, tractor. We tractor. So, yeah, that's basically what we have on the list, to be honest. Um, yeah, but I wrote the list. I, t- I told you to think about other yeah, things. Yeah, I know. I've been trying motivational quotes i've seen a lot of those lately like what believe don't you drop your hair on my floor (laughs) did you know i was gonna do that (laughs) 
<laughs> Put it in your pocket. <laughs> I was fiddling with my hair. My hair. I cast hair like a dog, cat. I don't know, an animal. A lot of hair, and I see if I find any hair on my floor. I'm just gonna gather. I'm not even gonna. I'm gonna gather it up piece by piece and set it outside your room. That is the that highest is... level of pettiness I have ever heard of. I still need to watch Doctor Who too. So do I. Lad, will you like stop changing tracks? Okay, Sorry. right. This is one way system. <laughs> <laughs> this is no roundabout, straight road. This is train track. My train has been derailed and it's just flying across the country. Have I packed binoculars for tomorrow? I'm gonna be fully blind tomorrow. I'm just gonna bring binoculars and just be like, sup? I'm blind. I'm trying to decide what to wear because it's gonna be cold and wet. I'm bringing my big long coat. Are you? Yeah. I was just gonna wear my other yellow coat. Because hashtag yellow coat's on tour. But I'll not be wearing a yellow coat. You can take my long yellow coat. I don't want to look like a duck. See or be seen, Chloe. <laughs> And you can't see, so you gotta be seen. <laughs> I always think of whenever someone says be seen, I always think of French people going be seen, which is uh, like swim swim pool. Pool. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you have to be seen, you have to swimming pool. Yes. <laughs> you have to swimming I can say that from now on. You have to swimming pool, Chloe. There's I do that all the time though. What? What are you looking at? No, there was something else that I was like, oh, I'm going to make that a thing. It looked like you were looking along this, like, mantelpiece, like, looking at something, and I was oh, like, what hey, has hey, changed hey. along here? What are you looking at? Your light box has lights. It does. Well, it now has batteries, so it works now. Yeah, it has an actual light in the light box. Chloe. Yes. Your Christmas lights around your room are very pretty. They are bright white LED <laughs> lights and they travel from I'm gonna say about a fifth up your door over the top of the door and then across the roof and they twinkle so it's like a little I think of it like a flowing river yeah but you say they're Christmas lights I have them up all year round yeah that's like my bookcase lights but they're prettier in Christmas time okay we got where's Wally advent calendars from are we allowed to mention brand names yeah from Marks and Spencers and we chose them ourselves but I like making the joke that um mum bought her two blind kids where's Wally advent calendars to be fair we've been going good except for yesterday whenever we were supposed to find Wally and we found what is it Wanda what have you oh, the girl, the girl. <laughs> we thought it was Wally and then until we opened the door today and it was like all right yeah, okay whoops, whoops. <laughs> but it's okay because you just had to swap them around it took me about three minutes to find the the right door I know that's probably the hardest I thing. Think you find two. <laughs> you find the door, and then it's like, oh yeah, I looked past that guy. But I couldn't. I whenever I found it, I couldn't even like get my nails into it. To I don't even use my nails. I just sort of poke it. Oh, that's why it has the wee like lip thing. Couldn't even get that to work. Oh. I'm rubbish at advent calendars. Sad. Here. I need to read more. I have a big stack of books and then I ask for books for Christmas and I don't read. Well, when would you read if, like, you have to sort of set space aside to read? I don't, I don't even have time to read. <laughs> I read in the mornings on my phone and stuff, but that's because my room's that dark and I don't actually have a light. But I don't like opening the window because I don't like the sheep staring in at me. <laughs> <laughs> what you reading? <laughs> <laughs> nice pyjamas. Oh, that's just really freaked me out. I don't like sheep. I do like sheep, but I just... They have weird eyes, okay? I talked about it in another podcast. Go onto Google Images, search an animal and their eyes, and just look deeply into their eyes. Until dog eyes are cute, though. Dog eyes are okay. Rabbits and sheep are weird. Rabbits aren't really. Rabbits are nice. I like their eyes. I think. I don't know. I've never like specifically Googled rabbit's eyes. Yeah, you suppose if you searched cat size, it would sort of come up with roads. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I always used to wonder, like, mum always used to be like, oh, look at the cat size all lit up in the road. And I was like, why are there cat size, like, randomly in the road? And I was like looking at the side of the road and stuff in the trees going, where are the cats? Like, imagine then that they had, like, glow-in-the-dark eyes. Yeah. Rather than, like, reflective. Yeah. They're reflective, aren't they? And then, does cat's pee really glow under UV light? Yeah. 
How come I could never see the cat pee on my bed when the cat peed on my bed? Because it was th- cleaned thoroughly. It was probably just in the middle of the mattress where you couldn't clean. It was actually near the pillow, if I remember correctly. No, but as in, like, it has se- seeped into the mattress. Oh, bug. Did I ever tell you the story of when a cat peed on Judith's bed? The cat was meant to be kept outside, but someone left the door open and then we couldn't find the cat and I went upstairs and the cat was lying on my bed. And I chased the cat off and then spotted that there was a wet patch on my bed and it was stinking. And we febrezed and cleaned the mattress, we flipped it over, but I could still smell cat pee for, I'm going to say months afterwards. Sometimes I still get like the whiff of it, like just... You know the way, like, yeah. you just remember a smell? That. Like, something would sort of smell somewhere and you'd be like... Mm. I sat and sniffed flash citrus in Donegal, and it was so nice. It's a really nice smell. What does it smell like? Citrus? Citrus. Citrus, <laughs> yeah. But, like, clean. Clean? I guess it's kind of bleach, so... That's not good. I shouldn't do that. Do you want me to tell you how long we've been going for? Yeah, just out Apologies. Of Cover your ears or like have a cough and fit because we've been going for about 21 minutes. Wow. It's not that long for what we've talked about. I feel like we've got three pure loads. Yeah. Maybe we've talked super fast. Maybe we've just gone right in circles so we feel like we've talked about a lot but just the same things over and over yeah. again. <laughs> I watched Dairy Girls this morning, the first oh, episode. I forgot how good it was. I'm going to go back and watch the rest of it. Which it it's going to be available on Netflix American in America Netflix. on some date in December. So keep an eye out. I think it's that. in the 20s. I think it's maybe the 21st. See, I was thinking that, but then I, I was guess. like, is that not? Like, whenever the shortest day of the year is. And that's why that date's sticking out in my head now. 21st or the 23rd. It's, it's something that's pretty, like, 99% sure it's something like that. Merry Christmas, America, with love from Derry. What are you doing? I'm taking off my slippers. Oh. Some newsreaders really annoy me. Not even, like, newsreaders, but, like, correspondents. Correspondents. Why? Like, there's a guy on ITV News, and he's, like, the political correspondent. And I think it was this week we we sort of became aware of how much he used his hands whenever he talked. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> And then by Friday, I was just overly... Wasn't it Friday? Or was yeah, it Thursday? Friday. Thursday. Thursday it was. The, no, it was Friday. Friday. It was Friday. Um, I sort of decided, you know what? I'm just going to copy his hand movements. And that just makes it even more obvious how much he uses his hands when mm-hmm. he talks. So if you ever if you ever become aware of that, just start copying it. And then you'll be like, wow, this guy moves his hands a lot. Or this girl moves his hands a lot. Like, or copy their head movements and then you realise how much people move their heads. Yeah, or eyebrow movements. <laughs> I don't have great eyebrow control so I would have to like use my hands or something to We had a music teacher at school and he had great eyebrow hi- eyebrow control and like honestly he would just sometimes raise his eyebrows and then just shake his head and that was just his disbelief look like his, his facial ex- expression would not change but the eyebrows would go up and the head would shake and the eyebrows would come back down again and he could be smiling he could be frowning he could be looking cross Mm-hmm. But it was always the exact same, like, the exact same emotion he was conveying, despite his like facial expression. But did that work for other emotions too? Like, could he be smiling and then he would like furrow his brow, and then you would know that he was actually secretly annoyed? Yeah. Or not so secretly annoyed. His eyebrows just give everything away. They were such dark eyebrows too. Yeah, <laughs> and he was bald. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish I had like fancy eyebrow skills. I just don't have the control. I can raise one eyebrow. I can raise my left eyebrow on its own, but I can't do it the other way. I don't know if I can even wiggle my ears. Try it. I don't even know. What what do you focus on to wiggle your ears? Your ears. You can't wiggle your ears. Okay. What about this ear? Can I wiggle this ear? No. Definitely thought I felt some movement. <laughs> Can I wiggle my ears? Okay, it looks like you're taking a poo. <laughs> Concentrating. <laughs> no. Darn. Oh well. I can roll my tongue. Mm, I, I thought everybody could roll their tongue. Like, 
into a hot dog. How can you not? Sheep. How can you not do that? Some people just don't have tongue control or tongue muscles. Does that mean they're like more likely to just like lose control of what they're saying? Yeah. I mean, I can roll my tongue, but on the couple of podcasts ago, I still said Bonnie Peeny Bono. <laughs> That's my favourite thing. <laughs> Oh, it's a bonus pony bone. <laughs> what was that about? That was about a bonus podcast. Yeah, we were going to do a bonus podcast this week. Um, on Wednesday or Thursday. But, I don't know. Maybe. It depends. Maybe we'll just do it at the weekend. How many weeks is it till Christmas? Three? Three. Like, as in... Two and then the Tuesday is Christmas, or three and then the Tuesday is Christmas? Um, three and then the Tuesday is Christmas. Because it's 23 sleeps, which means by Tuesday it'll be 21, which is three weeks. You're so good at maths. Friends. I like friends. It's another thing you have written here, real life and... Interweb. Made up friends. (laughs) Made up friends. I have loads of made up friends. People at school had imaginary friends. I had imaginary dogs. See, I had like 101 Dalmatians. See him. But they were all tiny, tiny puppies. And I used to tie them under the de- onto the end of the desk whenever I went in to the classroom. And every now and then I would have like looked underneath the desk and been like, good puppies. And then continued with my work. And I would Just have... keep an eye on them. <laughs> I would have left them a bowl of water and some food at the side of my desk. And they were really good puppies because they were able to hold onto their pee until break time and lunch time and after school. Solid dogs you had there. Yeah. I also had a horse. Oh, you had a horse too? What, I was, did. The, what was the horse called? Uh, I don't even think it had a name. I think it was just called Horsey. Did it stop? Only when I told it to. Did it Did its feet go, go clippity clop? Yeah, they did. Did you have a carriage? Went, his tail went swish and the wheels went around. Yes, yeah, so you had a carriage then, the wheels went around, yeah. What? That's what. Oh! <laughs> oh! I'm just realising that, that that poem's about a horse and carriage. Oh. I thought it was about a toy horse that had wheels on its feet. No, it's actually about like a, a horse and carriage. What? Giddy up where homeward bound. Oh, it's about a carriage. I actually, wow. And I love how. 23 years. And it's just, everything clicks into place. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, wow, okay. That's nearly as good as tag meaning, no, tag meaning touch and go. We called it tag. Yeah. Touch in go. <laughs> We just clearly named it wrong. But yeah, you were going to say about um, friends. I was just thinking, I was like, I have loads of friends, but most of them are like online friends. But honestly, like, I would say that my online friends are like, almost better. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I have more online friends than I do like real life friends, but I've met the online friends. So they're not like creepers. You've met most of them. I've met most of them, but I'm pretty sure the rest of them aren't creepers. <laughs> We're crazy axe murderers. Unless you are a creeper. <laughs> In which case, I still like you. You're still nice online. But I don't want to meet you. <laughs> I love that voice. It makes me smile. Don't smile. Okay. The corner of your mouth is smiling. Better? I don't know what you look like now, but I'm tempted to say a duck. <laughs> <laughs> a duck, okay, thanks. I feel like I'm going to need to take pictures of all my facial expressions so people can understand. Did you just stick the charger thing up your nose? It's too big to stick up my nose. My nostril isn't that large. It's still try large. <laughs> <laughs> what other way are you supposed to describe your nostril? Big. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to say large then. <laughs> my nostril isn't that large. I just expected you to say <laughs> my nostril isn't that big. It's large bigger than big. Oh, don't start this again. 
Judith and has like, a thing where she wants to try and put all adjectives in order. So like with small and then tiny and wee and tiniest. And tiny well tiniest well, would be smaller than tiny. It was like a superlative. Oh, that was a big word what there. Does, what does a superlative mean? It's like you can't beat it. So it's like the best. Or the biggest. The bestest beats the best though. You know, but that's not actually a word. The bestest ever. I suppose you could say the best ever, but that's technically two words. Oh, okay. So a superlative is one word. Yeah. So like greatest, biggest, smartest. It's generally ones end in an EST. <gasps> best does end in EST. <laughs> <laughs> Worst doesn't. <laughs> Worstest. No, but see, there's biggest and largest. Mm-hmm. So is largest bigger than biggest? Well, you generally say large is bigger than big. <laughs> who? Who do but I But then ask? you have massive and enormous too. Go ask an English teacher. Do I ask? Would, would you say English is the right way to go? Or Why, what other one would you go with? I was going to say physics because they deal with like big planets. So surely like... Oh, wait, no, oh well, they'd they... probably say massive is the biggest then. Yeah. Or astronomical. Oh, big words. Big words. Or... Suppose you could argue that super is big because supernovas. I'll I'll ask English and science. What about geography? Maths. Surely it's maths because it's like size, which is not numerical because it's words. Never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> you can ask a maths teacher and be like, "How big? How big is big?" <laughs> Maybe what is say. the definite size of big? Where does big end and large, large begin? begin. <laughs> You could ask Mads that. <laughs> you could put it on a proper scale then. <laughs> From two metres to four metres is big. From four metres to eight metres is large. But then what if, like, I suppose it depends what you're talking about because, like... You could do it in percent and then it just works on anything. Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. Because I was going to say... My could, head is screwed on today. You could talk about, like, it being, like, a pin and it could be a big pin or a large pin or, like, a big needle or a large needle but then it could also be, like, a big foot or a large foot. <laughs> or a little foot. Or a little foot. And they would be different. Yeah, because it's all, like, what would you call it? Not perspective, but, like, it's all relevant to mm -hmm. your own mind. Because, like, my version of big could be different from your version of big. <gasps> right enough. Bro, we need to see a psychologist too. If you were thinking of a big box of cereal, what size would you go for? 750 grams. <laughs> That's what I would have gone for. What about a small box of cereal? The wee variety box. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. What about a little box of cereal? The wee small box of Cocoa Pops that actually looks like nothing. It's maybe like 100 or 200 grams or something. 300 grams. It's 300 grams. What about a big... Do we already say big? Yeah. But a, an enormous box Would of be cereal. like the bonus value family sized one that's like one kilogram. Oh, the one kilogram thing of cornflakes? Yeah. Oh. Why? <laughs> what were you going to say? I was thinking like house sized. <laughs> <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. It just went right up there. <laughs> just, ima <laughs> just imagine those sitting there in a line, okay? So you're going to start with small. <laughs> it's really variety pack, like 200 grams, 750, house. <laughs> what do you put in the middle there? Caravan. I'm trying to picture a house size box. Not, but what size of a house, Judith? I think it's your standard two, two story house. But is like that a two-story two house in, like, London or in Edinburgh or here? We'll say each room is about um, two and a half metres in height. So about five metres high. And then take the diameters of another, like, a normal size box of cereal and just, like, work that out for the width. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could have gone for, like, bus or something instead of ice. I panicked. I just, I just panicked. <laughs> this is this is going great. <laughs> just, I'm just imagining a house-sized box. How would you open it? Maybe a I'm thinking, like, a tap. <laughs> 
<laughs> like a cereal top. But then what about the bits at the bottom? I mean, just go in with I mean, a spade. Yeah. Cool like, bunker. <laughs> right enough, just a wee hole at the bottom. Yeah. Be hard to control. If you think of like the weight pushing down on it, like it would just spray out everywhere. <gasps> we can get bottomless drinks in the airport on the way home on Tuesday. Do we really want to do that though? No, that was awful. It was the worst idea ever. I got stuck in an aisle seat and the woman beside me fell asleep and I couldn't get out. That's not an aisle seat then. Sorry, I was stuck in the middle seat and the woman was in an aisle seat. Oh, that was grim. I went like... Did I even go? I did. I went... I, I had no one beside me, but I must have got to pee like three times. And the woman sitting in the window seat next to me, she must have thought I was not well. Because <laughs> I would have been sitting there and I would have kind of looked around me and been like, should I go? No, I'll wait. I'll hold on. I'll hold on. And I kind of looked at my watch and then I was like, no, I better go just in case we land early. And then I went and then I came and sat down and then about five minutes later I was like, no, I need to go again. No, maybe it was on the way back I managed to get up to pee once. Oh yeah, it was the way back that I had the woman that was terrified of flying, wasn't it? No, that was the way over. Maybe it was the way back you said that it was two wee women and they fell asleep and you didn't want to ask them to move or something. Or no, they didn't get up. You just had to squeeze past oh, them. Oh yeah, that's what it was. And that was just really awkward. I got up to pee once and I had to sort of like... Even whenever I got to my seat, whenever I got on the plane, uh, they didn't stand up. You always stand up, no matter... Unless you're really old and decrepit. But even then, you just sort of be like, do you mind if I sit over in the window seat? And you're like, yeah, sure, no bother. Like... Like it literally just, just courtesy. Like it was like to be fair, like the woman at the window didn't have to move, but it was the woman at the aisle, and it was like she didn't even like sort of like shift her legs out, like you know the way you can shift them to underneath the armrests yeah. so they're out in the aisle. She didn't even do that, and I was like, oh my goodness. And then I had to squeeze past her, and I was like, my ass is in your face. I hate that because you're always like, don't fart, don't fart, don't fart. No, it's not even that. I always panic, and I'm like, which way do I face? Yeah. <laughs> do I put the, my butt in their face or my crotch in their face? <laughs> And then you try and do just like a big step over. <laughs> Half lip. I remember going on a field trip with geography and I was in the middle seat and I had to get up to pee like three times. And then the girl in the aisle fell asleep and I was like, I don't, I can't, I can't wake her up. So then I just like, I stepped over, I straddled her. And <laughs> she woke up. She didn't wake up on the way out, but on the way back, she sort of, I, I think I brushed her leg and then I just, I just sort of like, I stepped over and sort of fell into my seat. And as I fell into my seat, she woke up and I was kind of sitting there like, oh my word. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was awkward. So yeah, maybe let's not do let's, um, not, let's not do that. bottomless drinks. Unless we definitely have an aisle seat. I haven't checked my seat for the way back, but if it's an aisle seat, I'm all for it. <laughs> I think I'm like 11B or something. Oh. Which isn't bad. I mean, it's better a middle seat than a window, window seat. seat. But still. It's really weird now because of we fly with Ryanair and yeah. they've changed their bagging policy. So now everybody just goes priority so they can get a big bag into the cabin. And it used to be like... Oh, priority, there's only like one or two. But now it's literally everyone else. Mm. <laughs> and there's maybe like four or five people who aren't priorities. How so much like, extra does it cost to go priority? Like six pound. That's not too bad. If I ever need to take a big suitcase over, that's that's not awful. Like and the good thing is we can share we could like we could easily share a suitcase too. Yeah. Wait, does that mean you just get a suitcase? No, you get a suitcase on like a school bag sized one. Sweet. Okay. That is good. Yeah, I think we've rambled enough, probably. Yeah, we'll try and do like a wee extra one, just maybe on Wednesday or Thursday, or maybe even at the weekend. Just yeah, whenever we have hopefully our Christmas stuff up, because the next the next podcast will be coming up to Christmas, I think. Mm-hmm. Like the, mm-hmm. the the couple of days before Christmas. Nah, it'll be in between that. Oh no, because none next week. So that'll be one week then. Oh yeah, the it'll be like week. the nineteenth or something. Maybe not the 19th, 18th, 16th. I'm going to go with 16th. I don't even have my phone so I can't even check the date, but we'll go with that. But hopefully we'll get a wee extra one in because I know that we sort of fell off the wagon a bit a couple of weeks ago and I want to just make them a regular thing, like bowel movements. We also need to get our videos back on track. This week I just completely forgot that we had to do one. I think it's just like the past couple of weeks we've just been so busy. Yeah. And it's just like, sort of... Like we said at the start, I didn't realise how busy we were until, like, I go to think back on it and I'm like, flip. <laughs> what free time did I have? <laughs> but yeah. like, I fell behind on BuzzFeed. I fell behind on... <laughs> BuzzFeed. <laughs> on YouTube videos. I fell behind on applying for jobs. 
Um, yeah, that's a thing. But yeah, like, but like, I enjoyed it because I was busy the whole time, and it was like, yeah. And I hope I'm busy this week because then I won't think about stuff. Yeah, like a dog that is no longer here. Oh, bro. Yeah, I started looking at photos on my phone this morning. I was like, I'll never see his wee face again. No, I posted a picture on Instagram like three years ago of the dog just being like, I missed the dog because I was at uni. And I was like, you had no idea. <laughs> but yeah, that. If you have a pet and you're listening to this, go home and cuddle it. Yeah. And just. Be- Even if it's a cat. I mean, I'll, you know. Or a hamster or something like that. But especially if it's a dog, give it a hug. Give it a hug from us. Give it a wee piece of bacon or ham or... um, Something that it's generally not supposed to have. Except chocolate. Like, nothing that'll kill it. Yeah, just a wee treat. A treat. Yeah. Um, But yeah, follow us on Twitter. We are at... S K I T underscore T W I N S. So that's uh, at skit under slash twins. Thank you. It's the same on Instagram. Yep. Um, if you search skit twins on Facebook and YouTube, you'll find us. Yep. Also SoundCloud and iTunes, obviously. Whichever, wherever you got this podcast, we are here. Yep. <laughs> Please <laughs> share it, like it, rate it, review yeah. it, do all the things, everything you can. Just. It can be like a Christmas present for us that we get, say, a hundred listens on this one. Yeah. Um, and that is down to you guys sharing it with your friends. Or even old podcasts, like, we don't mind. Yeah. You know, share old ones too. Which are all available on YouTube. We can only keep, like, I think it's three, three at a time on SoundCloud and iTunes. So I am trying to find a podcast provider that allows you to upload all of them. Yeah. I have to look into sound. Yeah, YouTube's good. Um, SoundCloud, you have the ability to download them, and once you download them, that's you can keep them. Um, on Apple Podcasts, if you save each episode, then even whenever it disappears, you'll still have it, provided you saved it. So do that. Um, but yeah, like we said, uh, share, like videos, and generally just give us a wee boost coming up to Christmas, and. Do that for all your local, local people. Yeah, local comedians, comedians or local YouTubers, photographers, or influencers. No, if they call themselves an influencer, just don't. Just delete them. Um, <laughs> no, unless they're decent. If they're decent, then go for it. But it depends on your. I just don't like. I don't know. Like influencer. Like, what are you trying to influence? Like people's, people's feelings, people's decisions. Yeah. No, I don't like the word. But anyway. Um, Thank you very much. Uh, Take care, be good. Make good choices. Go well. If you can be anything, be nice. And hug your pets. And get ready for Christmas. Ho, ho, ho.